So this isn't gonna be the most professional video in the world, but we'll definitely make it work. Uh, green screen, on! So, um, my green screen isn't the biggest in the world. Um, I guess, what I'm trying to say is, my face is very up close, but I'm putting stuff here. That's what I'm gonna try to do anyway. Hopefully the lighting's good enough. I'm, this shadow is probably gonna make things hard, but hey, it is what it is. I wanted to do a review on Hotel Transylvania 4 Transformation. Is that how, is that what it is? It's called Transformania, Transformania, because they're transforming. So basically what this is about is the, the Dracula, places back, the people are back, the Transylvania, the the daughter Mavis and Johnny, her husband, they they're they're all back, but I don't know why there's a dog barking. First of all, um I have I'm I live in an apartment and the people below me I guess have a a dog, a new dog, and it's very loud to the point where I could hear him. Do you hear that? Because I could freaking hear it. Anyway, so the crew is back in Hotel Transylvania 4. And basically, Drac wants to retire and give the hotel to Mavis's daughter, played by Selena Gomez. And he does not really like Johnny, the human husband of Mavis. And so when Johnny's talking about doing all these changes, Drac's gets cold feet, gets nervous, and tells them that he's just adding on. He's not retiring. That that wasn't announced. And the reason being he gives Johnny is that Johnny isn't a monster. And the only reason that he isn't able to give him Hotel Transylvania is because he's not a monster. So he gets Van Helsing um, to shoot him with this ray that turns him to a monster. Drac finds this out and he accidentally turns himself into a human and a couple of the other guys turns into humans and basically they have to go find a new crystal to show or to be able to turn themselves back. That's mainly the plot and there there's some heartwarming stuff here and there's some good stuff here but also there's uh, it, there was honestly no reason for this movie. Um, uh, I, I feel like the first couple Hotel Transylvanias were fine. The the vacation one wasn't that wonderful to me. It was fine. It was a good, fun kids movie. And again, this time, it's a fun kids movie. I wouldn't say it's great. I wouldn't say it's amazing. But it's a fine kids movie. Um, I personally wouldn't sit down and watch it by myself. But since I have a six-year-old and a two-year-old, obviously, they're going to enjoy it and they did enjoy it and there are some good laughs here there's some fun trials and there there's some amazing you know just uh, character development between Drac and Johnny but one funny thing about this movie is Kevin James isn't here as Frankenstein and Adam Sandler isn't here as Dracula. That's very confusing to me because the first three movies, it was Adam Sandler and his crew and Selena Gomez um, being part of this animated series. And he decided, Adam Sandler decided that he didn't want to be a part of this fourth film. And I don't know if it has anything to do with the, the, the direction that it was going because he's not even executive producer this time. I don't know if maybe his obligation with Netflix he just didn't want to be a part of it anymore, or maybe he could, didn't have time to be a part of it. But what they did was get Brian Hull, which is a impersonator, or an impressionist, rather. He's an impressionist for different Disney movies and characters and all that kind of stuff. He, he comes off of YouTube, and I've seen him before, and I honestly didn't even realize that it wasn't Adam Sandler. His impression was actually very good. The only part that I could tell that it wasn't Adam Sandler was actually the beginning when he's singing. I just didn't feel like that was Adam Sandler's voice, but I was like, oh, but I know it's Adam Sandler, so maybe it was just a rough day at the at the office, whatever, but come to find out, we paused the movie at like 50 minutes or so, and then it, it said Brian Hull is Dracula, and I said, what? Because it's been sounding like Adam Sandler this whole time, I didn't realize he wasn't part of the movie. The impression here is 
fantastic. It is spot on. It sounds just like him. And it's so amazing to me that it goes, it, it, he went from being on YouTube to being in a feature length film like this. It, that's so amazing. And it's so awesome that content creators could, if, if they, you know, push hard enough and try hard enough, they'll be able to get there. They'll be able to be in a full length film. So there's one amazing thing about this is that Brian Hull is Dracula and he replaced Adam Sandler and Adam Sandler, you know, he, he, he did a great Adam Sandler. He really did. And I, I really did find that super interesting and enjoyable. But overall, I feel like that the the plot was fine. The movie was fine. That's really what I have to say about it. I wouldn't sit down and watch this by myself, but I do think that it was fine. It was okay. It was fine. Um, have you seen this movie? I think, uh, personally, I think the voice acting in the movie is great. Uh, Selena Gomez, David Spade's there. Like, the whole crew's there except Kevin James and Adam Sandler. So, that being... That's just so strange to me on why that's happening, but I think it has to do with Netflix and them having a strict schedule for Netflix movies at the time. Um, and I know there's a new uh, new Kevin James movie coming out soon, so that might have a lot to do with it as well. I don't know. Who knows, but... Um, like I said, this movie's fine. What did you think about it? Leave it down below. And also, is there any other movie that you'd like me to react to or, or review? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you again so much. And I'll see you next time. Good. Bye. Oh.